we just unrolled Henri Matisse's Ossini Le Maire. It's always exciting to see something for the first time when it comes in the building, um, but this was particularly exciting, not only because I'd never seen this example before, but because I'd never seen any example of this before. It's an awfully rare work. You start to unroll it and these forms emerge, and it is just, it's inherently a dramatic process because things are slowly appearing. My name is John Mara and I'm an Associate Specialist in Prints at Sotheby's. It's exciting because of the size, it's exciting because it is representative of this early stage in Matisse's use of the cutouts that have become so important to his career. You see all of these forms that are just reminders of his trip to Tahiti in 1930. La Mer is all the things that he would have seen in the sea, so coral and algae. According to him, the fish in the water there they just came up to you with little regard for you know, the human that was there. Once you learn the backstory and, and think about how precise he was in getting all of the colors right, learning that he you know, went through 30 paint samples to figure out exactly the tone of beige to exactly emulate the Tahitian sand is something that I really enjoy thinking about. It was a relatively avant-garde thing at the time for an artist as established as Matisse and as famous as Matisse to be producing a textile work that was considered a fine art object. I think that screen printing in the contemporary world has become, you know, after Warhol, synonymous with fine art. At the time, it was a fairly decorative medium, um, so it was somewhat progressive of Matisse to be willing to use it. Zika Asher was a Czech artist and designer who founded his own textile company and came to work with a large number of artists in the 20th century. He was already working with Matisse and Asher wanted to do something that was much more involved and approached Matisse about doing a large commission. Matisse was somewhat hesitant and then Asher ultimately visited Matisse in his apartment in Paris and saw these two panels up on his apartment walls and ultimately convinced Matisse to produce a silkscreen on linen edition. Really the highlight of the whole work for me is the signature. Um, and in this, it's a very intentional and large signature that's really beautiful. This work will be a highlight of our Prince and Multiples sale on April 26th and 27th in New York.